we're going to be creating a CSS template using Flexbox and setting up saying our typical HTML template where we've got the header, the nav, the main, and footer, a three-column website. Flexbox provides us a way to create a web layout. This is also going to be responsive. So as we resize it and make it larger, those columns are going to stay creating responsive elements within a container that are really easy to arrange using Flex. This lesson we're going to be making and using Flex box in order to make a three column website design. So we're going to be selecting the elements from the page and updating them. So let's go ahead and we're going to select all of the elements that are columns. And this is where we've got the three column design. I'm also going to apply to all of the elements across and add in the box sizing. So that way that we can set the default sizing of each of the cells and that will also include the padding and any of the borders. Box sizing will allow us to include the borders and the padding for the width of the element cells. So we're selecting all of the columns and I'm going to add in a border to the columns. So one pick solid and I'll do a blue border for the columns. So there's our three columns that we want to apply. I'm also going to be adding in some padding to the columns. So set up the padding and I'll do just 10 picks of padding to it. And I'll set a default height for it to be 200 picks. So there's our three columns. Do a text align so we can align the text to center for them. And now we want to stack them using the flex. So let's set the flex width and that we can set using the flex property of one. So it's going to be the width of each one of those containers. And we need to select the parent and apply the flex property to the parent. So that's the columns are contained within the main element and within the main element update and set the display property to be flex. So that will allow for the children of the main container to get that display property. And that's where we get the three column design. We can also update that and set the navigation. So we've got an element with a class of nav. So just comma separate them. And we want to apply the flex property to both of them. And immediately that's going to stack those. So we want to apply different properties to the navigation elements. And these are the, all of the ones that are the divs within the nav class. So selecting the nav class and then the divs that are contained within them. Let's go ahead and we'll set up a border for those. And I'll set up a green border for them. So that way we get some borders around them, adding in some padding for those. And let's set some five picks of padding for them. And then using flex, we're going to set the flex value for one. And also do a text align to align the text to center align the text. So that gives us the link elements. Setting up a background, I'll set up a background color for the page elements and I'll set them up as black and then the color can be blue or actually going to set the color to be white and adding in the hover effect to those elements so whenever the elements are hovered to give them the feel that they're going to be links and we can apply the linking afterwards either with uh, JavaScript or we can do it within the HTML as anchor tags. So whenever we hover, I want to update the background color. And we'll set that to be blue. So as we hover over, it gives us a new background color for those elements. Now let's select the header and the footer. So the elements with a class of header and the element with a class of footer. Apply some properties to that. So once again, background color for those. So there's our background color for those. And I'll set the overflow to be auto. So that will take up all of the available space. Text align and we'll center align the text. And we'll set up a minimum height for it to be 100 picks. So that gives us the header and the footer. 
and also do the line height for these. And actually for the footer, we'll select out the element separately. So we've got the div within that element. So selecting the div where we've got the content for the footer. And for this, we can set a margin and then also some padding around it. And this way we can add additional lines of content. So that's how you can use Flex in order to set up a default website template with three columns.